Hi, book lovers. Sarah Carter, senior team leader with Usborne Books and More, and I'm happy to show you guys our new series. New series, Axel and Beast. There are four in this series so far. If your child likes robots, especially shape-shifting robots, um, they will like this series. In this one, there's a female protagonist as well. A um, lot of fun. I'll show you kind of what the text looks like in here. You can see there's some pictures. It's got some onomatopoeia going on. But if your child loves adventure, this is the book for them. Next one, I'd like to show you another new series. This is one of the ones that I'm the most excited about, the Mapmaker Chronicles. And there are three in this series. The premise for this series is that the main character is a map maker, and he lives in the time when people thought the world was flat instead of round. The king sends out three explorers with their um, map makers, and they're supposed to create a map of the world. So as you can imagine, there's lots of competition between the explorers. Um, they have lots of adventures both on the sea and on land, and it's a whole lot of excitement. So you'll love this series. This one is for ages um, 9 to 14. Next series I'd like to share with you is Bear Girls Adventures. I know some of you guys in particular are excited for this. It's a paperback. This one's $4.99, so it's a really great deal. You can see that there are actually four total. Right now I think we have one in stock, maybe two, so you want to check that out first before getting too excited. Um, but this one has about, let's see, what is it, 115 pages in it. You can see it's got a little bio about Bear Girls at the back of it. And then it also has a little quiz, Test Your Survival Knowledge. And that actually sums up what you learned from the book. So these are fiction. So in this particular one, Chloe is stranded on an island with Bear Girls, and she has to learn how to survive. And so as you go throughout the story, Bear is teaching her all kinds of things about the environment around her, things that are good to do, things that will kill you if you continue to do them. Um, for example, in, let's see, there it is, on page 40, um, she, Chloe's talking about how it's such a shame that salt water tastes so nasty so she doesn't want to drink it. And Bear says it doesn't just taste disgusting, it's like poison. It dehydrates your blood and fries your kidneys. So your child's actually going to learn about real survival skills as they're reading this book. Another new series that I'm excited about is the Tanglewood Animal Park series. We have three in these. And you can see these ones are nice and thick. There's a lot more words in here. So you can see it's got smaller print than some of the other ones. So this is going to be about age 8 and up. And this one is $5.99. So each of those is $5.99. And this one's all about, um, as it says, the Tanglewood Animal Park, in this case, Elephant Emergency, and then there's the zebra and the other one. Um, but in this particular one, you've got Savannah is, or Tanglewood Savannah Safari is complete. And Zoe, who works there, is excited about the newest member of the um, family who's coming, who's this elephant. Zoe and the head keepers face an elephant emergency because the head of the herd stops eating and they have to figure out why. So it's kind of like an animal mystery to solve. I'd like to share with you our brand new January 2018 fiction. So first series I want to show you is a brand new series called Billy and the Mini Monsters. There's six in this series. It retails for $24.99 for all six together, or they're $4.99 each. And these are the perfect book for kids that are just learning how to read chapter books, and I'll tell you why. So you can see it introduces them to things like what a table of contents looks like. It has chapter headings. It has lots of pictures. So it bridges that gap between picture book and chapter books. You can see that all the text stays on one page. There aren't any sentences that start out on one page and continue on the other page, which can be really hard for beginning readers. Um, if you have a reader that needs all the text on one page like that, also check out Billy B and Hey Jack. Both those series are the same way the text stays on one page. Um, that also helps readers, by the way, who struggle with dyslexia. So this can be a real confidence booster for your child. You can see that there's several comic book sections within it too. So it's a really creative, fun series. And in this series, Billy discovers little mini monsters in his sock drawer. And it's all about the adventures that they have together and continues throughout this series. So much fun. The next 
new series I want to share with you is Fairy Unicorns. If your child loves Secret Mermaid or loves fairy ponies, this is the series for them. So again, we've got six, yes, six books in this series. You can buy it as a set or again, you can buy them individually for $4.99 each. Um, you don't have to have read the Fairy Pony series in order to start this one. Um, however, they are linked. The Fairy Ponies, the first book in the Fairy Ponies uh, series tells you about Holly and about how she discovers the Fairy Ponies. She does show up in this book because Zoe is her cousin and Zoe's staying with um, her cousin and their aunt and she discovers the Fairy Unicorns as opposed to the Fairy Ponies. So they do show up um, in each other's books, but again, you don't have to have read the first series for that. I'll just give you a quick look inside at what this one looks like. So very similar in structure to the Fairy Pony series. These are written for children age seven and up. And if your child loves unicorns, this is a great series for them. The next one I wanna show you is a standalone. This is called The Adventures of Alfie Onion. And this series is a lot of fun too because it's about, well, let me just show you the first page. I don't know about you, but I like to read the first sentence to see if I like it when I'm picking up a book. So it has some pictures in there too. First sentence says, long, long ago when trolls lurked in deep dark forests and ogres grumbled and mumbled beyond the distant hills, there was a small and ordinary village called Guttersbury. And in Guttersbury, there's a woman who decides that she's going to be a princess when she grows up and she's going to marry the seventh son of a seventh son because apparently those are the ones that go out and have adventures. So her seventh son, Magnifico, she decides it's going to be this amazing boy and he's going to, she's putting all her hopes and dreams in him going out and doing something great. Well, it turns out he's not so interested in adventuring. It's the eighth son whose cradle she even puts in the barn because she doesn't value him as much as her seventh son is the one who ends up saving the day. And he does that with his loyal dog, a talking horse, two mice, and some magpies. So this one is really neat. I'll give you a look at what it looks like on the inside. So you can see there's pictures throughout. There's some words in bold. And this one is for kids age seven and up. The last book I'd like to show you is called Uncle Sean and Bill and the Almost Entirely Unplanned Adventure. And in this one, Uncle Sean needs to rescue this heroic badger that's been kidnapped. Um, along with four depressed llamas, and he's rescuing them from some mean kids that have taken um, the badger and have nefarious plans for them. So you can see throughout the book, there's lots of pictures. There's a lot of text. This is written for kids age eight and up. If they have a sense of humor, they will love this book. Let me just read the first sentence to you so you can see what I'm talking about. The first sentence of the book reads, section one, in which a brave and handsome young badger called Bill meets two extremely dreadful sisters and begins an adventure he may not survive. He also has a sore ear and remembers that he doesn't like shorts, especially when he's wearing them. So lots of fun. Check it out.